Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's Alpha 4 testing. Um, yes, welcome back to my YouTube uh, channel. Um, I have said it, Alpha 4 is now out. I've had a little play with it and think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, um, in fact, some of it's quite mind blowing. So um, I'm returning here to show you some of the new features. Some of the bad points so far um, installing the um, the new um, game resets the calibration of the joysticks to set up etc which has been quite frustrating because obviously I wanted to get straight back into play in this game and I had to spend probably about 20 minutes resetting all my joystick buttons etc and getting it how I like to play I've also had to spend time getting voice uh, attack working again properly so hopefully it is now working properly so what have we got new in Alpha 4? Wow, we've got obviously some bugs but basically the game's been opened up completely really oh so I thought I'd left myself in a space station so let's go back to the normal uh, things of doing it working first left let's go and just go and land oh it's actually left me in the middle of space that's not what I was expecting okay so let's show you the galaxy map before we do anything else let's have a good look around while I'm sat in space so this is just magnificent so here we have the uh, area of space that we're in and you hold down the left mouse and you can move around and you can have a look at the planets and the star systems that you um, can jump to or super cruise to now which is actually really cool um, and I've already made a I've already flown from Eran to or ran in sorry to Acelius Acellus Primus or whatever it is so I've already flown there and you can quite easily click locations and you can get um, a route so it will show you the direction you can filter it around to see what type of um, type of legions people have in games so you can filter on the map which is quite good so you can actually tell what type of system you're flying to lots of different options so excuse me <coughs> aha I didn't notice that before so you can actually hide and just show the trade routes oh now that's really neat but what I really like most about this is the fact that when you zoom out look at the detail around how on earth is my graphic card rendering all those systems and yes you can click on any of these or anything on the grid sorry Ah, sorry, you've got to be... Yes. So this is just amazing, but the depth as we fly out, starting to get the picture of how big this place actually is. So whatever you've done here is just truly amazing frontier. Just look at that depth. Wow. I'm just truly blown away by this just the pure scale of the universe that you can fly around. Alright, so we'll go back to the navigation. Um, well we could try typing Earth.
We've got salt. Aha, here we go. So for me, this is just beautiful. And you could just spend all your life, I imagine, looking at all the planets that <laughs> are in the universe. So, yes, this is the new star map. So, what do we want to do with the star map? So, let's go back to where we are in space. So, here we are. Run it nearby, nice star system. So, how do we fly around this huge map? Well, we've got two ways. We can jump to um, light years into different areas of space. Or we can navigate also via supercruise, which is an accelerated speed through the cosmos as such. Um, so let's go back to where we are now. I want to go to Hasban City. Now we'll lock it on because as you'll notice in the the usual finding radar to the left of the hologram of my sidewinder is the usual dot that we remember from the original Elite to find up line up so if you get that dot in the middle it gives you a picture of where we're going to go to now depending on the distances you'll either get an option to super cruise or to a hyperspace to now if we super cruise which I believe this option has just given me yeah what you've got to be very careful of is, is it took me a little while to figure this out when you jump into super cruise you've got to be very careful obviously a planet so you can't just directly fly to it you have to actually um, think about your destination and making sure that you don't fly into oh I've been given a whole load of cargo that's really surprising Okay, so you have to think about, yeah, this started me in a very odd position, sorry for me scratching my nose. So you have to think about your navigating and not getting too close to other planets. So generally what you need to do is know where the planet's going to be, and then engage, and you can press a button to engage Super Cruise. And then you want to arc around and fly to wherever you're going and making sure you're avoiding the planets. And if you don't, if you get too close, the computer decides to pull you out of the speed and you go into a funny critical mode of jumping out of hyperspace or super cruise or whatever you're going through. So you press a button to engage. Drive charging. And you'll see it's charging. And then you have to accelerate. So I'll explain to you. Ready to engage. So you now throttle up, speed up. Four, three. And you have to use the radar locator. I'm going to give you a chance to see what's going on. So we're now in super cruise. And so the speedometer will go faster. Now we're actually navigating like we did with a yellow dot trying to bring the city in. And as you can see, we're closing in rather rapidly. And so that's a little left hand little blue dot by the throttle indicator. And that you want to just keep it into a certain within the blue zone so you can slow down and come out of super cruise when you're close enough to the city now I haven't worked out how close you've got to terminate oh and as you can see I've just flown past ah and the button the the messages come up on the left hand side window telling me I can safely engage now at super cruise so I've dropped my speed right down and I'm getting closer and I will press a button and I will drop out so give the screen a few seconds to adjust. So the speed is dropping right the way down. And from how I understand it at the moment, this might be a, a holding page while it's loading. Because it actually has to establish the server to make sure anybody else nearby is connected. Yeah, so I've got no control at the moment. and we have a crash. Right, well I'll end the recording here and then I'll put up another one later on just showing you what, what happened when I actually docked there or got there. Okay, Commander Speedy signing off.